Shalom, 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 shalom. This is your brother Yael Ezra Ben Levy coming at you again with another quick video. Now, there is many of our people that are on the path of spirituality, African spirituality. And they talk about honoring the ancestors, which I have no problem with honoring the ancestors. But when I hear some of my people talking about speaking to their ancestors and praying to them and asking them to bless them and to lead them and guide them. I am an Israelite. I am one that I believe in the ancestors. I honor them for their accomplishments and the things that they've done. But I'm more into honoring the God of our ancestors and emulating and gleaning from some of the practices of our ancestors that knew God and could connect with him. I do not, as an Israelite, I do not ask my ancestors for leading, for guidance, for protection. I, I do not ask them to bless me, to make a way for me, to protect me, to provide for me. I do not do such. That is not my practice. I pray to the God of my ancestors. I do not pray to my ancestors. Now, if you are asking your ancestors to do everything for you, what is your God doing? What is there to do if you have a God, but you go to your ancestors for everything? What is the God of your ancestors doing for you? If you go to your ancestors for everything, why well, have a God? If you are literally providing, you are literally depending on your ancestors to do everything for you. I feel you dishonor your ancestors. And this is my opinion. I feel you dishonor your ancestors. When your ancestors had a God, but you lean on your ancestors to do for you what your ancestors leaned on their God to do for them. Now, that's my opinion. I know there's many different forms of um, African spirituality. When I say African spirituality, you have to understand Israel is in, is in Africa. So the practice of um, that the Israelites um, walked in and being Torah observant and being faithful to one God in their righteousness is also a part of African spirituality since Israel is on the African platonic plate. So that's something to think about. Not all African practices are the same. I understand that and I respect that. I may not disagree with it, but I respect everybody's um, decisions that they can make. It's their path. They must choose the path that is right for them. So that's all I wanted to share at this time. Peace.